product derivatives. This is a way of understanding calculus. Often there are two functions with known derivatives, but they are multiplied together. Taking the two derivatives and multiplying will not work. There is no rule that the derivative of a product equals the product of the derivatives. It's a little more complex than that. So let's suppose we have a function that's equal to a product of two functions. Now we take the derivative using the limit theorem. The limit as h approaches zero of the function at x plus h minus the function at x divided by x plus h minus x is going to equal, now we're going to plug in the product here, f of x plus h times g of x plus h minus f of x g of x over x plus h minus x. So we now need to add zero. The zero is going to be right here. A negative f of x times g of x plus h plus f of x times g of x plus h. So we add it and subtract it the same thing. That is adding a zero. And we can always do that. And we will break our limit into two parts. The first two terms from the numerator are now separated from the second two terms of the numerator. The denominator will remain the same. So we now have two limits. The limit of f of x plus h times g of x plus h minus f of x g of x plus h over x plus h minus x and f of x times g of x plus h minus f of x g of x over x plus h minus x. The first limit, we're going to just replace uh, g of x plus h with g of x, because h is about zero. It's going to zero. So we're going to just get that out the way. Now what we have is g of x can factor out, and we have the limit of x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus x, which is the definition of the derivative of f of x. So we got the derivative of f of x times g of x. In the second part, f of x can factor out, and we have the limit as x approaches zero of g of x plus h minus g of x over x plus h minus x, which is the definition of the derivative of g of x. So we end up with the derivative of f with respect to x times the function g of x plus the function f of x times the derivative of g of x with respect to x. As an example, we're going to find the derivative of x cubed sine x. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So that's the derivative of the first function times the second function times the sine of x plus the first function x cubed times the derivative of sine of x, which is cosine x. So we got f prime of x or bf dx times g of x plus uh, f of x dg of 